All right, so this past weekend, they sent an email that the fall items are on clearance. Um, that is my cue to pick up any of the big ticket items that I wanted. Um, you can only use one coupon at a time at Bath and Body Works, which kind of sucks because as a couponer, I'm like, I want to stack my coupons. Um, so I'll show you what I got kind of in the first transaction and talk to you about the price and everything. Um, I'm really excited about like one thing in particular. I picked up this beautiful candle lantern. Oh my gosh, I have had this burning, burning, burning. I've actually had it right up here where this candle is um, with my Halloween stuff. It just looks very gothic to me. Um, I love this thing. The second I saw this in stores, I wanted it so bad, but it was really expensive and I just could not justify buying it when I already have tons of candle stuff. So anyway, this is called the Leaf Lantern. I believe this one is still online, um, but online they're not half price, even though it's a fall item. So I, I don't know, I found that kind of strange. But anyway, um, it didn't come with a box or anything because they only had one left. I got the very last one in the store, so I guess it was just destiny. Um, so it looks like this. It's just metal, and there's not glass here. It's just open air, which I think is kind of cool. Um, it needs a little bit dusted, I think. Um, but here we go. It's just got this metal kind of poinsettia or holly leaf in the middle on each side. And then, of course, you've got the little bucket that you lift in and out um, and you put the candle on there so you're not trying to you know burn yourself when you put it in there and this has a cute detailing to it also it looks kind of like a bottle cap it's kind of jagged um, so you put the candle in there of course and you lower it down in there and it has these little catches you can see here these four little wires and they catch on each of the four corners and so your candle is just like suspended in the middle there and it is so pretty um, I just think this is a wonderful year-round piece now not only is this beautiful let me tell you how cheap I got this because you know I love to save my money and use my coupons so this leaf lantern the reason why I did not buy it was because it's $44.50. Oh, oh my gosh. I'm not paying $44.50. <laughs> um, so this was half off. Yes. Um, so it would have been $22.25. But um, last week they sent me an email that had just a code for 25% off your entire purchase. Um, so that actually took an additional $5.56 off of this. So instead of paying $44.50 for this baby, I paid, let's see, what does my receipt say? $16.69. Woohoo! That is 63% um, off. Um, so $16.69 instead of $44.50. I will take that. I was like, give me it, give me it. I'm going to take it home. I love it so much. And the next two things I got, I was just going to get one candle, but honestly, I was not sure if you just buy one candle if it rings up as $11. The sign says that you have to buy two and then you get the $11 price, you know, two for $22, and then each additional candle is $11. So let me know if you could just buy one candle and it's 11 bucks because I, I don't know. Um, so anyway, I, I purchased two just because I wasn't sure. Um, I got this one just because I do love Marshmallow Fireside and I've gotten almost all of the candles from this Snow and Slopes or Winter Lodge, whatever it's called, collection. Um, but I really just liked this Marshmallow Fireside. It looks like a 70s fireplace to me. I don't know, the labeling just looks really retro to me for some reason and I just think it's cute. So I purchased that one just because I didn't have it in this packaging from this collection. And like I said, you can't have enough of this. It's an awesome candle to burn anytime in any room. And then I was actually, I wasn't gonna get any candles at all. I was just gonna get the lantern. Um, but what prompted me to get the two candles is this one. Um, they actually had one of the new holiday tradition candles out in my store. Um, and I was like, oh, okay, I've been waiting for these. And they only had one. This is the only scent that they had. They only had frosted cranberry out, but I was like, yay, I'm getting it. And it's so cute. Um, so here we go. It says frosted cranberry. You've got the little owl. He's giving a little ornament to the mouse. It's got the glittery whatever. It's super cute. Um, but it says the essence of holiday magic, a sparkling blend of white cranberry, juicy peach, raspberry, and true joy. I'm not sure that true joy has a scent. Um, on cold sniff, I definitely smell the raspberry and the cranberry. No, I think I actually smell more peach than raspberry, but it has, I think you can actually smell all three. That's, well, that one's going to be interesting to burn, um, and I just think the packaging is cute. I was so excited. I was like, my first, like, 
Oh yeah, it's a Christmas candle, the first one from this collection I've actually seen in store instead of online. Um, so I definitely had to pick that one up. I just think the packaging is super adorable. It's very whimsical, uh, kind of reminds you of like your childhood or something. I just think I like the packaging on them, I really do. Okay, and the candles, you know, would have been $11 because they were two for $22. Um, and I didn't have the $10 off 30 code for in-store, so I just used the 25% off. So they came out to $8.25 a piece, which is not much more than they would be with the $10 off. It's only like 70 cents more, so um, it was still a good deal. And the last two things I got with the lantern and the two candles there were two soaps. Um, yeah, I got some fall clearance soaps. Um, the lady told me that this one was part of the fall clearance, but it actually did not ring up as half off. Um, I, it did ring up as $6.50, but then I had the 25% off, so it rang up as $4.87. Um, so this one was not as cheap as she told me it was, but, you know, I don't care. Um, so I got weakened apple picking, just an apple-y soap. Um, I smelled the tester. This one's a good year-round soap, too. Um, Apple is always a good scent to have in your kitchen. And I got this one because it intrigued me. Um, I'm not sure if this one's going to smell nasty or not because they did not have a tester. But it looked very kitcheny, and so that's where I have my Bath and Body Works soaps is in my kitchen. And so I thought this would look appropriate in the kitchen. Um, so this one was half off, and then I took 25% off my total purchase. Um, so this soap came out to $2.44 instead of $6.50, which again was 63% off. Um, and this is brown sugar and carrots. This is from the Artisan Market. It's kind of this odd tanny orange color. It looks like a sweet potato color to me. Um, but yeah, if you've smelled this one, brown sugar and carrots, let me know if you like it or if it smells gross. I don't want to open it yet, and I can't smell it, but I just, it intrigued me. I was like, that would maybe smell interesting. Okay, so that was the first transaction. I got the awesome leaf lantern, the two candles, and those two soaps. And after I used my 25% off, I basically got everything that was like half off items. After tax, everything came out to $44.35, which if you will remember is 15 cents less than this baby was before tax. This thing was $44.50 and everything even after tax was $44.35. So I got this, two candles and two soaps for cheaper than it would have been just buying this one item at full price. So I was tickled to get all of that for so cheap. So a couple days later, I went to the second Bath and Body Works in my area. Um, we were at the mall, and I just I popped in to see if they had a different variety. I'm so glad I did because this transaction was even better than the last one. Um, so the first thing I got was this. Um, this is again from the Artisan Market. So this is part of the fall clearance. Um, so this is Sweet Plum and Verbena. This one smells really nice. Um, instead of $6.50, it was half off $3.25. I used the 25% off code, so this was $2.44. Um, so again, 63% percent off the original price and even though this is a fall fragrance it's not really fall to me I also got just a kind of year-round scent here um, I got the Anju pear and again that was 244 because it was half off and then you know 25% off I love this one um, I smelled this one in store it smells awesome and then I got this one um, I really just for some reason I was really drawn to the packaging on the artisan market ones um, just, I don't know, compared to the others, I just like the kind of wispy looking handwriting. I don't know. Um, so this one is Honeyed Nectarines. Again, that was only $2.44, 63% off the original price. And I know that a lot of people rant and rave about the foam foaming hand soaps. Honestly, um, if you look at the ounces on the foaming hand soap, it's less ounces than, he, than these and they're the exact same price. Um, and honestly, I don't like the foaming hand soaps because you can't really work up a lather, so I don't feel like they they get my hands as clean as this. Alright, so I got those three soaps. Those were $2.44 a piece. And then I got two of this. It's so pretty. This was also one that I thought was gorgeous and I wanted it, but again, I wasn't going to pay full price. And being patient really does pay off sometimes for me. Um, so this is just a, the clear hurricane. This is just a glass hurricane. Um, and this is for the three-week candles. This is originally $34.50. Um, and you can see it's just a big, huge, clear glass hurricane. And then you've got the little 
rest that you put the food candle in and that way you can take it out and put it in without having to actually touch the candle in case it is hot um, so it looks like this from the top I think this is absolutely gorgeous this is again a great year-round piece um, it's nice and clear and clean looking um, it would go with any decor at all because it's just clear glass and I thought this was just beautiful um, so this normally would be $34.50 but it was half off yay um, so it actually rang up as $17.25 but I had that 25% off my total purchase so I used that and it took an additional $4.32 off um, so I paid $12.93 for this and they had two of them in the store I got both one is a Christmas gift for someone that I'm not saying uh, so this beautiful thing, $34.50, I paid $12.93 plus tax. That's $21.57 off of the original price. So 63% off. I got two of them for less than the price of one. All right, so in this transaction, I got two of these and three soaps. And after tax, it came out to $36.34, which is basically the price of one of these. Uh, that's what I did this weekend. That was kind of like my couponing uh, at Bath & Body Works. I didn't go to Walgreens this weekend. I've just been really taking a break from Walgreens. I have a really big stockpile right now. The sales usually will pick up, you know, kind of between Thanksgiving and Christmas. They start to get a lot better and everything. Um, so, and I just really haven't had time. I've just been really tired on the weekends, and I have not felt like sitting down at the computer and planning my transactions and cutting all the coupons. I've just been really lazy, I guess, as far as the couponing goes. So yeah, so let me know, do you have any of these lanterns? I'm so excited about this collection that's starting to be released, the holiday traditions. I actually placed an online order as well this last weekend um, while I still had the 25% off code because there's a lot more candles released online and I know I'm gonna buy them anyway so I just went ahead and ordered a few of them um, and I actually what really prompted me to do the online order was I saw that they had cinnamon sugar donut and I heard like it's everybody's favorite Bath and Body Works candle. It's the most amazing candle ever. And so I've never burned one. And so I saw that during the 2 for 22 sale this past weekend, they had cinnamon sugar donut on the website. And I was like, well, you know, I'll go ahead and place an order. Um, and so I did. So I have a couple candles coming in that. The stuff I showed you today wasn't necessarily candles, but it's kind of candle related. Um, so I just, I can't wait till like November, what is it, 2nd or 4th when they're all Christmas. I, I'm just gonna go candle crazy again. I'm telling you, fall and Christmas is just not good for my wallet. Whatever. I guess it's a consumer holiday, right? <laughs> yeah, oh, the other thing I wanted to mention before I go, oh, this video is like incredibly long, I'm sorry. The other thing I'm gonna mention is, if you guys remember my pumpkin pail video from a while back, um, it was the last VIP deal that they had. Um, while I was in the store, they actually have like a new pumpkin pail, but it's like a Christmas pail. Um, and in it, it had like a vanilla bean Noel foaming soap. It had like three mini candles. Um, it had like a body spray, body wash, and lotion. It had the same things in it that the pumpkin pail had in it, but it's out of like, I think it's vanilla bean Noel and maybe winter candy apple. Um, it's out of the new Christmas scents. And in the bottom of that little pail is the little coupon for five three-week candles at $11 a piece. So just in case they don't have a two for 22 sale, you can use that coupon and get them for half price. Um, you can't get them less than $11 because again, you can only use one coupon at a time. But um, I'm excited. So uh, I have like an inn at the Bath and Body Works I go to because I'm there like literally every single day. Um, and one of the girls there said that that little pail the winter pail um, is going to be for sale I think either Friday or Saturday of this upcoming weekend and if you spend $30 you can get the pail for like 25 bucks just exactly like they did the pumpkin pail and like I'm so excited I need the Christmas pail like I just can't wait so I have to go back Friday so if you like the pumpkin pail I'll post that video down below as well um, you might want to prepare to go to Bath and Body Works this upcoming weekend all right, so let me know what you thought. Got some pretty good deals. Um, let me know what you snagged at the fall clearance sale. So excited, it's the best time to shop, um, especially when you have an additional percentage off or something like that. And I will get off of here. I'm tired and I've blabbed, blabbed, blabbed. So I will see you next time. Bye.